Right, you beauties. So we've rocked up on this job. We've got boiler. There it is. We've got a time clock here. A three port valve. The plumber's changed this. He's changed the room stat. He's changed the time clock. And he's got an issue. The uh, heating and the hot water cannot run at the same time. And the lady has to have the hot water on to have the heating. So we're going to find the wiring fault. First, let's get this off. Right, so we're going to check our outputs down here. Right, so what we've got, we've got continuity between the hot water side here, and it comes down to here, we've got hot water going out there. So it goes on the black wire going down to the cylinder stack. So this is our cylinder stack, and you can see brown here is the common. So this cable here should have the brown in it and not the black. So if we go back to our cylinder stack, the black is black if you can see that number just under is number one so we're going to switch the brown and the black round first so before we do that obviously the brown which is here which is uh the common which should come down off this blue wire here which is the hot water on so when the power comes down this hot water on it should attach onto this blue and go back this black one should be attached onto the orange for cool for heat and then when it's satisfied, this blue wire, this grey wire are in the right place. So this, when this, when the hot water is satisfied, it sends power back up via that red wire there, which then goes all the way back up to hot water off there, which will bring that valve back to heating only. And then the other wire, this yellow wire here, will control the stat, which is uh, that one there. That's our stat out, and then this wire here is our stat in, which goes to the white of our um, three port valve, which is down there, which is going to control the heating. So we get this wire and this wire switch round, and we should be cooking with gas. Yes. So that's our black and our brown switch round. So now that corresponds with our wiring on our cylinder stat. So we'll turn it all on now, and it should all work. Right, so let's see if this works. So we'll turn it on now. So the heating's cool. I know the stat's calling downstairs. We can hear the valve going. Put a hand on there. That's still cold. Still cold. This is the pump coming in from the boiler. It's hot. And that is hot as well. Don't believe me. Come and check. So this here is quite cool. So if I turn the hot water on, so just come up here, turn the hot water to on. The valve still hasn't moved, and the valve hasn't moved because this here, we're going to turn the water temperature up. Here it click. Did it click there? There we are. That's clicked. Is this valve will move? That valve's on the move again. Yep, <laughs> definitely hot water going through there. So now we've got it all up and running. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna shut the heating down. And this will make sure our boiler keeps running. So this mid, mid, mid position valve's moved back. So that is now the heating satisfied hot water is still on so now if we turn the heating back on which is this is one this is what they can do before was turn the hot water off so the hot water's actually we leave the hot water on and then we turn it down on here and as soon as I turn that down you'll hear this click hear that move so that is now so now we've got the hot, the hot water coming up from the boiler. It's only going towards the radiators now, not towards the hot water. So if I turn that back up now, so I'll turn it up to 50, you listen to this. There we are, hear the click. So that, the heating system's now working as it should. So that's another job jobbed. I hope you got something from that. So basically what we had, they, he'd got the common 
and the um, position one wire round the wrong way in the joint box so it wasn't working correctly i hope you enjoyed that please don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll see you on the next one